on September 11, 2001, exotic, high-tech beam weapons were used in New York City. Can I ask you a question about some of the technology that you're developing to fight the war on terror, specifically directed energy and high-powered microwave technology? You, uh, when do you envision that you can weaponize that type of technology? Um, it is it is in for the most part the kinds of things you're talking about are in varying early stages. Do you want to do you have anything you add? I don't think I would add much. I, I I think they are in early stages and and, and probably not ready uh, for employment at this point. Research and development on beam weapons has been proceeding since the 1940s. Beam weapons have been weaponized since the 1980s under Ronald Reagan's SDI Strategic Defense Initiative, or Star Wars. dual mirror systems that will be based in space or suspended from large, high-flying airships. They will be able to receive laser energy from ground systems, airborne or space-based lasers, then redirect that energy to targets around the world.
Uh, when do you envision that you can weaponize that type of technology? Mm -hmm. um, it, is, it is in, for the most part, the kinds of things you're talking about are in very early stages. Do you want to give anything you'd add? I don't think I would add much. I, I, it's, I think they are in early stages and, and, and probably not ready uh, for employment at this point. In, in the normal order of things, when you invest in research and development and begin a developmental project, uh, you don't have any intention or expectations that one would use it. Uh, on the other hand, the real world intervenes from time to time, and you reach in there and take something out that is still in a developmental stage, and you might use it. So it, the I, it's not, your question is not answerable. It is... It is uh,